Today's research update will look at comparisons of offering calves calf starter or calf starter and hay in combination. This data came from the July Hordes Dairyman webinar, which was presented by Dr. Emily Miller Cushion from the University of Florida. She is a calf specialist that works primarily in behavior, such things as pairing of calves, looking at brushes and toys in the pen, and surfaces the calves prefer to lie on. However, she also presented some kind of interesting data looking at providing calf starter and or calf starter and hay. There could be some advantages for this in terms of intake, rumen development, and non-behavior suckling reactions. So the research studies, they looked at several combinations, and the one that was interesting to us was the one of looking at hay plus starter versus starter. At week three, there was no difference. Both groups ate the same level, same composition. However, at week four, there was some separation with the hay and starter consuming calves about two tenths of a kilogram higher. At week five, that difference increased up to 0.25 kilograms per calf per day. And at week six, that number increases up to 0.5 kilograms of the hay and starter comparison. What I found interesting was that in the pre wean calves, a high amount of hay was being consumed, about 20% of the calf's diet, compared to uh, at the weaning time, only about 10% of the calf diets when given the choice of those two products. When they looked at suckling behavior, again, providing the starter with hay reduces the suckling time. Uh, that was 10 minutes per calf per day. When you went to just a straight starter, it was 18 minutes per calf per day. So I think you have to remember, the calf starter in this study was a pelleted calf starter. We recommend a coarse texture to give it more functionality and form to the diet. The hay was a grass hay, probably a warm season grass hay. It was not pre-processed. However, I would enter my biases in here and say if I'm going to provide hay, I'm going to control the amounts. So I would add, uh, pre-process the hay and then mix it with the calf starter, perhaps anywhere from 10% of hay and 90% calf starter. Thanks. Have a great day.